Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today, we're firing up the Weber Rotisserie. We're going to be doing turkey. That's right. Turkey on the Weber Rotisserie. going to come out good. You guys stay tuned. And, of course, check it out. Here we go, guys. We got us a beautiful 15.5, almost close to 16 pounds, 15 and a half pound beautiful uh, turkey. And uh, you wanna make sure anytime you're gonna do a, any type of heavy meat on the rotisserie that your, your your spit can can handle that weight. Make sure that it's rated for it. I believe this one that I got from Weber Rotisserie is good for you know for up to 20 pounds so this turkey is is just perfect uh for it okay so all i'm going to do i'm going to spray on a little bit of canola oil on this turkey and i'm going to be using one of my uh seasonings that i have and i'll show it to you in just a second that's all we're going to do just and this canola oil it's more for just to serve as a as a binder for it okay uh, that way the the seasoning will stick to it and the seasoning that i'm going to use is this one this is my sexy chicken goes great on just about any kind of uh in any kind of meat heck it even goes good on breakfast potatoes if you've never tried it on potatoes oh my gosh it's just uh it's just wonderful so i'll let that oil stick in there uh, or or um soak onto the skin before we put the seasoning. The other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff this turkey. So I got some onions and I hope all of this stuff fits in there. And I'm gonna put some red and green apples. And, and what this does is um, these types of fruit hold moisture. And when it starts cooking, that moisture will build up the steam on the inside of the, of the cavity of your turkey, and it'll start adding that flavor to the meat, um, you know, from the inside out. So we're gonna put some carrots in there as well. And I think maybe I can probably stick one more apple, heck, one more red apple right here, and maybe a, another carrot, so. You know, we're gonna we're gonna bind it together. We're gonna truss it. You know, you wanna make sure that this stuff doesn't fall out on you. But uh, yeah, that's it. Let me get this seasoning on there. If you're interested in any of these products, just visit the website jpbarbecue.com. Uh, I'll put a link to it right here. It'll pop up right there in the corner, and it'll definitely be down in the description uh, as well. So here we go. I'm gonna add some of this. Ooh, man, this stuff smells good. And man, this is, this is a one big turkey, I'll tell you that. Just try to get it, you know, put some on the inside. Try to get it on, on the skin. We're gonna drop some into the cavity as well. Stuff, now I'm not an expert in, uh, in trusting a chicken or a turkey at that, but I'm gonna do my best. So we'll get enough of this string out. We're gonna bind this starting from the back. And you wanna get like maybe close to the to the thighs and just tighten it up really good. Grab one leg, grab another leg. And maybe even cross them over. There we go. And I even heard some people come come around and grab uh, the tail under it. There we go. And what we're gonna do is just bring it up between the legs. Get it under the wings. And uh, just grab a hold of the wings. And you want, and, and the reason we trust it is because, you know, we don't want these uh, uh, parts, you know, just 
dangling. You know, they'll get into the rotisserie and they'll just start turning and, you know, and it'll just start flopping. And when the meat gets nice and tender, uh, you know, you don't want that. You don't want it to fall apart on you. So that's what she looks like. And the uh, next thing to do is uh, go ahead and get the spit in it and we'll be good to go. Here we go. Here's our setup right here, guys. I got two baskets of uh, charcoal, lump charcoal on the side. Um, and gonna be using this as a measuring tool. That way I get just enough or the right amount of uh, charcoal to get started with. You know, if I fill up too big of a basket, then I'll have extra charcoal and it'll be all, it'll just get too hot too fast. So that's roughly, I got a full size Weber chimney and that's about maybe half to three quarter full, but yeah, that'll work. And what we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using these 100% uh, biomass uh, fire starters. You know, they actually work pretty good. But you know, you can use what you want, whatever you got, it's fine. Just drop three of them down in there. And get them lit. And just drop your chimney right on top. Give it a few minutes, maybe 10, 15 minutes and you'll be ready to go. That's the one thing I like about this uh, lump charcoal that, that I'm using. It's called the uh, Lumberjack. I don't know if you guys can see the name in there, but I'll put it up here. Lumberjack Premium Hardwood Lump Charcoal. It actually lights pretty fast and uh, it does a pretty good job. So we'll just leave that right there until it gets lit and we'll be ready to go in just a few seconds. Didn't take long guys, just about 10, 15 minutes the most. So here we go. Got my hot gloves on. We're gonna put half of it on this basket. And we'll put the other half in the other basket. There we go. It's the nice thing about these gloves, these gloves right here, rated for high temp. They're actually welding gloves. Uh, they do make gloves that are, you know, 900 degrees, 1000 degrees rated, but welding gloves work just fine. So, uh, now don't leave it, you know, don't, don't take that to the bank. Like don't leave the coal right on the glove, you know, but you can touch it, move it really quick. Shouldn't give you no problem, you know, but if you leave it on there, obviously it's gonna burn. So let's get this drip pan right in the middle. I think we'll call it good right there. Get our rotisserie kit put in and you want to put the, uh, the motor, you know, opposite your end. And uh, all that's left is to get the motor mounted and get the turkey on there. We'll be ready to go. So we'll let this bad boy come up to temp and it shouldn't take too long. Okay, let's go ahead and get our spit uh, put in there. So what you wanna do is try to aim, you know, under the legs and you're gonna have to play with it just a little bit. And you may have to puncture a hole because it'll tap out but well, yeah, once you got it through, you know, then you're good to go. And I got these ex these different types of, uh, of forks here that can really grab hold of a uh, you know of the of the meat that you're cooking. So that's it for that side. And we'll put it, turn it around, and get one over on this side. And. Uh, I'll, I will be turning it around so I can get it balanced out. There we go. So let me loosen this up. There we go. Loosen this one. And uh, what you wanna do is try to get it as centered as possible. Right there. 
and uh, man that's a that's a pretty heavy turkey there we go tighten her down you know i've been to the gym 15 pounds just didn't seem that heavy but man i'm picking this turkey up and boy got some weight to it oh and uh, that should do good holding the legs nice and tight you want to keep the vet you want and you want to do that that way the vegetables and your fruit that you got on the inside will stay in there because if not they're just going to fall out and fall into the basket but that's it let's go ahead and go put it on the on the rotisserie all right let's get her in let's get her in there there it is See if it holds together. Moment of truth, it's either gonna hold together or it's gonna fall apart. And uh, you see the wings? You gotta watch out for them wings right there because them wings start getting all floppy on you. Just watch it for a second. And uh, I may put some twine on it on this back side. It's about 1.30. We're going to let it run for about three hours. We're going to check it every hour, see how it's coming along. But it's uh, we want to try to keep the temp at about 350 degrees. Uh, if it drops below that, come back out here, put some more charcoal in there, and uh, just keep it going until we reach our desired temperature. I want to say uh, for poultry, it's usually about 175 degrees inside the breast. Once you get past 175, uh, and 185, you know, you're good. You're good. But all we got left to do is just wait on this turkey and see what happens. You guys stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? This turkey is done. We hit an internal temperature at the breast of 182 degrees. And that's plenty of time. Brought it out here, letting it rest for about, uh, it's been resting for about 20 minutes now. And it's still uh, nice and warm. Yes, sir. Um, what I did with the aluminum inside the Weber Performer, once it got to the color that that I was happy with, that you know that's what I wanted, uh, that's when I said I'm going to wrap it because I didn't want it to get any darker. I, I wanted to keep that color. And hopefully, it, it it came out the same color that that I saw it uh, back then. But let's go ahead and uh, open it up and and see what it's. Oh wow! Look at that. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. That bone right there at the top has already come separated. The breast meat has come separated from that bone. We're, we're done, guys, with this. Let me get this uh, spick out. Put that out over here. And, uh, we'll go ahead and take this out on this side. And I don't know if all my apples and vegetables are still in there. Oh yeah, uh, I got an apple, I got an onion. Yep, they're still in there. Let's, uh, let's see if I can take this off the aluminum without it breaking apart. There we go. Ooh, the vegetables fell through. There we go. Let me get, we'll put them vegetables right there. There we go. Throw this aluminum away, and there she is. I hope I hope the lighting uh, is coming through. I may have to change angles. Apologize for the sun, guys. Is this is just this is the direction I'm I'm looking at? It's about 5:30, and the sun is starting to set uh, out there on the on the west. So let's go ahead and cut this. Let me get this uh, string off of it first, and then we'll start with this piece. Oh, I got more string right here. There we go. And what you want to do is get down into the bone or to where the, the joint is at, cut it, and there we go. Look at that beautiful piece of uh, turkey quarter right there. And we'll cut some of this breast off right here. We'll just come down the bone, the breast bone, and just start slicing it to get that breast completely off. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. 
got a gorgeous looking piece of piece of meat and uh, oh man it is nice and tender you want to try that mama and give some to your mom yeah it could, it's a little bit hot there we go I'm gonna try some of this breast without the bone of course look at that man I hope the lighting is not messing it up here we go guys mm. nice and tender and I got apples on the inside right here look at this we used the apple to add a little bit of flavor to it. See what this apple is all about. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's good, that's good. Well guys, this is my presentation on doing turkey on the Weber Performer on the rotisserie. Came out fantastic, beautiful color. Again, uh, it, it went about three and a half hours, uh, cooking it at about 350 degrees on the rotisserie. Every now and then I had to go back and add some more charcoal just to keep that uh, temp up. But besides that, once I got to the color that I wanted, wrapped it in aluminum and brought it up to an internal temperature of 182 degrees. And uh, it just came out fantastic. It's time for us to eat. And uh, just want to say thanks for watching this video. If you like what I'm doing here, do me a favor. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And click on that subscribe button. And... Uh, but besides that, I appreciate you guys very much, and I will see you guys on the next uh, cookout. You guys take care.